Today marks the 90th anniversary of China's Communist Party. A small group of revolutionaries in Shanghai formed what's become the world's largest political party. But despite its achievements and some disastrous social experiments, many Chinese people see the Communist Party's golden age encapsulated in just one place. From the centre of the celebrations, here's China correspondent Stephen McDonnell. In the mountains around Yan'an, a battle rages for control of China. On the one side are the nationalists, on the other the communists. This elaborate show is a highlight of the red tourism scene here. If travellers pay more, they can even put on a uniform and take part in the civil war. On this, the 90th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party, the journey to Yan'an is like a pilgrimage for some. It's a holy and important day. We come here and pay our respects to our forefathers and our heroines. I really just wanted to see Yan'an, to see where Chairman Mao used to live. Though the party was formed in Shanghai, this place is seen as its spiritual home. It was the base for a guerrilla army that went from thousands to millions and eventually took over the country. This show represents what's seen as the Communist Party's finest hour surviving in the mountains and turning the tide of the civil war. In Beijing today, some of the Communist Party's 80 million members heard that the organisation has major corruption problems, but there will be no retreat on monopoly power. In order to develop a political system that is socialist and democratic, we have to continue with the policy of socialism with Chinese characteristics. We have to continue with the leadership of the party. And the utopian stories from this golden age will continue to be told in order to keep the party in control of China. Stephen McDonnell, ABC News, Yan'an.